It was one of the bloodiest conflicts in history. Six million British men were mobilised, more than 700,000 of them were killed. But while so many sacrificed their lives, thousands more resisted the call to join the bloodshed. They're slackers, they're shirkers, they're cowards. They're accused of being less than men. More than 16,000 conscientious objectors refused to take up arms. Why should people who were sent to gain nothing from, from all this be, be fighting each other? A well-known trade unionist and socialist, Arthur Gardner from Huddersfield went on the run to avoid having to fight. Friend and writer Cyril Pearce says it was a decision of conscience rather than of cowardice. He argued that the war was about markets and business and empire. And as far as he was concerned, it got nothing to do with him and nothing to do with working men and women, so he refused to have anything to do with it. But objectors were widely vilified. Here, a group of pacifists takes refuge in a church from the angry crowd outside. After handing himself in, Arthur was tried for absenteeism in the courtroom at Huddersfield Town Hall. Eventually, after continuing to disobey military orders, he was jailed. His refusal to fight was to be held against him long after the war was over. He found it very difficult to get a job. There was one uh, mill owner there and said to him, I'll, rather than give you a job, I'll see you begging for pennies in the street. He was blacklisted, in fact, and uh, for the first ten years he didn't have a regular job at all. And so he embarked on a political career, which brought him back to the very place where he was sent to prison years earlier. And so just 25 years later, here he is walking the corridors of power. He is indeed, and had done for a number of years. In fact, he's here on the board. There he is, Alderman Arthur Gardner, OBEJP. So in 1960, Arthur Gardner, the rebel of 1916, becomes a respected member of the community and it's official that he's now an honorary freeman of the borough. Arthur Gardner died in the late 60s, his ashes scattered at the very crematorium he built and which still bears his name today. A man of principle, whose principles saw him reviled and revered in equal measure. He was five foot two of political charisma. He had a way with him and uh, a way of being with people that was uh, a bit special. 